Hi, everybody. Mitch Chan, I'm here. Thanks for joining me today. Today, I'm going to talk about something that the feds have put out a uh, directive about, which applies to the feds, but it's good for you and me as well. So CISA, which is the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, the part of the executive branch that's responsible for cyber protecting the executive branch as part of Homeland Security. And they also put out uh, recommendations for the private sector and for critical infrastructure, they also put out directives that are binding on critical infrastructure. So they have a lot of uh, expertise and a lot of responsibilities, a lot of authority. So what are they asking us to do here? So in this binding operational directive, they don't put out very many of them. This is number two for this year. So that kind of gives you an idea. And this is the middle of 2023 when we're recording this. Um, what they're asking is that if you have some kind of IT device or OT device, you know, operational technology, IO, Internet of Things, whatever, uh, that is visible to the Internet but lives inside your enterprise. So this does not apply to your Twitter account, for example. Um, that if it has a management interface, i.e. the way you manage it is through this interface and you can do that from the Internet from any place on the planet, that you remove those public facing internets and make them private only internal to your network. What that means is that you as an IT person will need to be either on that network or VPN into that network so that uh, you can uh, uh, manage it. Uh, the reason why they don't want that is because they, they don't want it public is because they don't want the Chinese to go off and attack it or they don't want the Russians or the North Koreans, right? If it's visible, you know, these things have uh, their software, obviously. They have bugs. Uh, likely, the hackers can get to these devices prior to you patching them. So that's why they're saying that. So, you know, what is the scope here? Uh, you know, a network management interface um, is uh, a device that's, that's accessible over network protocols. And they list a whole bunch of protocols from our normal web protocols like HTTP to FTP, SNMP, Telnet, I mean, just a whole bunch of them. Um, and then they say it doesn't apply to uh, web applications, like I said, like your Twitter account. Um, so what are the required actions? Uh, within 14 days, which is not a long time for the federal government to do anything, uh, they want you to do one of two things. And, and when I say you, they in particular talking about government agencies. And so you don't have this 14 day deadline. But my suggestion is that you follow these these guidelines because they are good practices. So saying if you have a management interface of a network device, do not make it visible to the public Internet. Just don't do it. Um, there are probably some exceptions where you don't have any choice. Uh, but if you have a choice, uh, don't do it. Uh, and the alternative is uh, to deploy capabilities as part of a zero trust ar architecture that enforces access control through some form of, of control point that is separate from the device being managed. So um, that's doable. It's a good practice. Uh, you're not going to do it in 14 days. You're probably going to have to set up new processes, protocols, possibly new servers to go make that happen. So, you know, the easiest thing to do is just to make it managed from inside the network. What that means is that you're either going to need to be on site or VPN into the site in order to go off and manage it. That's the fundamentally. And then the second thing they want you to do, uh, and again, you is the, their agencies, is to go off and uh, implement technical or management controls to make sure that when you put new devices out, those new devices are not um, uh, publicly visible from the, for management of those devices. So that's that's the recommendation. It's pretty straightforward. CIS is going to take a bunch of, of actions, including, you know, they're going to go look for devices on the public internet uh, for federal executive branch agencies, not for private business. And they're going to go scold people to do that. Um, <clears throat> they will provide, you know, reports and hardening guides and all kinds of things like that. Uh, so, you know, this is, this is the guidance, pretty straightforward. Uh, you can just, you know, put in binding operational directive 2302 in your your favorite search engine. It'll come up if you want to see more of the details here. Uh, but if you have questions, please reach out to us. Uh, and we strongly recommend that you go implement this. Until next time, stay safe. Turnkey Cybersecurity and Privacy Solutions offers the complete cybersecurity program for small to medium-sized